Okay, so I gotta, gotta clarify some things. Solomon's one of Solomon's sons was named Rohaba. And he took over as king after Solomon died. But he didn't listen to the elders. He listened to his buddies. And the, the elders told him to tell the people of Israel that he was going to lighten the load, lighten the yoke on them from his fa of his father. And then they would do the ask. And, but he didn't listen to them. He went to his buddies. And he said, heck no, you tell the people that you're going to put twice, be twice the yoke that your father was. And, and uh, <laughs> your father's arm wasn't the size of your pinky. And so the tribes left him. So then this kid, Jeremiah, who wasn't a son of Salma, he was a servant. But he was a very good servant. Um, he was become his king. Now both Rohabah and Jerobah were not followers of God. They worship other idols and all that. Okay, so when um, so Rohabah became the king of Judah and Jerobah became the king of Israel. And then uh, the, the son of Rohabah, was, which was Asa, Asa followed God, and God was happy with him. And then the son of um, Rohaba or Jerobah was Baharan. He wasn't. He was another idol worshiper and all that. Okay. And then there's all this turmoil going on. And then you get to chapter 17. And along comes this guy named Elijah. And Elijah calls for a drought. And God, God tells him to go in to this place and to and, um, Bethel would help him. Well, this comes to him. He asks her to make him some, some more oil and make him some bread. And she said, well, she was just going to make some bread. The last thing her and her son ate, then they were just going to die. And he said, he told them that their their oil would never run out, and their flour would never run out. And the, and then that lady's son got sick. And this is this is a story where Elijah brings the child back to life, and he takes him, you know, two tries, and he breathes life into him, and he lays on him, and and uh, he finally brings the boy back to life. Okay, but. Um, Jezebel was the wife of the uh, Ahab, the new king of of, uh, of Israel. Okay, and so this is where we haven't got to where um, Elijah, um, you know, calls down the fire and kills all the priests of Baal yet, and then Jezebel goes after him. But Jezebel um, killed all the prophets of God um, during this time before um, Elijah calls down the fire. But the, just had to clarify, you know, they weren't all sons of um, of Solomon. Um, Rohaba was, and he became the king of Judah. And then this guy Jeroboam was just a industrious servant of Solomon who became the, the king of Israel, but they both fell away from God. I had somebody ask me, where's the Holy Spirit in all this? Well, the Holy Spirit doesn't come into place until after uh, Pentecost in the New Testament. Okay, so what I'm just trying to do is discern when the the Characters in the Bible are in their conscious mind and their sub or their subconscious mind, and uh, boy, you can tell when God is not with them, they are in their subconscious minds. They're doing wacky, crazy, selfish, um, harsh, uh, irrational 
uh, judgments in in there. You know, and it's very evident at this point. Um, David had had his affair with Bathsheba, but he came back. He repented and came back, and his life still went in turmoil until he got older and he went back to God and, and uh, you know, stood up to Joab. The Solomon was really good up until his, he was done with his tasking, up until he finished the uh, tabernacle and the Ark of the Covenant. Um, you know, he was good up until then. And then he got all the wives and concubines and started worshiping their gods. And, and then after that, it just became just craziness. Um, you know, Essa comes along as the king of Judah, and is a good servant of God, but then he, he dies. And, and uh, But then now, now we've got Elijah. Okay. So Elijah's all connected with God, and, and uh, he's going to do some amazing things. And uh, we'll get to that. But the Holy Spirit doesn't come in the picture except with me. Okay. And you know, I meditate on, on these readings like I'll do it all day today and tonight and tomorrow. Um, I'll give my another talk on where it fits. But that's, you know, I started last night. I'm reading. I'm like, golly, man. You know, they none of them really instilled the fear of God or the respect for God or the you know taught their children how to um, their descendants how to connect with God. They got their own. They got their connection. They 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 bask in that and and celebrated that for themselves. But but then along so I'm thinking all that. I'm thinking. That's the problem. They weren't good parents. <laughs> they weren't teaching to their to their children. But then I I read about Asa and Asa did Asa, you know, somebody taught him right. <laughs> okay. Um so now we're we're talking about Elijah. So 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 far he's uh called for a drought and got this lady um to feed him and put him up and he saved the child's, you know, brought the child back from the dead. 